Sometimes you want to launch your application with parameters that might change. For instance, when we launch Docker, we tell it what image to load or what task to perform. C Sharp applications can perform the same way. In this 10 minute training episode, we will see how to accept command line arguments in console applications, including how to read multi part arguments. We will also look at how to modify a WinForm application to take command line arguments. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in depth perspective on technology, including best practices and implementation details. However, sometimes you just need to get the quick introduction to a topic. That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's jump right into the code. And this is a .NET console application right now. We also have a .NET uh, WinForm application. Both are .NET 8, but we'll start with the console application. And so far, I'm just saying, you know, press return to exit and then read line. That's it. But let's talk about our command line arguments. We can just do something very simple. We can say for each, and we're going to say, nope, not. We're going to say for each um, var arg in args. And you, I said arc, not arg. How about arg? Um, so where does this come from? Well, you know, var arg, we actually define that per uh, loop, but where does args come from? Well, this is the one thing that's kind of hidden from us when we use these top level statements in console applications is that when we, um, when we're actually calling this, we're technically calling static void main or static async task main. And with that, one of the, there's one command line uh, param or one parameter that comes in, that's a string array called args, but it's still there. It's just, we don't see it. So yes, that's the one thing that's kind of hidden here. I would wish that was more visible, but it's still there, which means we can access it, which means that we can then loop through those arguments. Now, if I were to run this application, nothing really is going to happen, but we can, we can see how that can change. Right now we have press return to exit. Cool. But if I were to say open folder in File Explorer, and then I were to come to the bin director, the debug directory, net 8.0, and then I were to launch a, a console window. There we go. Open in terminal. And terminal's over here. So let's bring us down here. Wait for it to launch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's run this console arc. So I'm going to say dot slash console args.exe. And I could just run that like so, and it says press return to exit. But instead I can say, let's launch this with arguments. Hello world. Notice I'm putting that in quotes because I want that to be one argument. I can say dash T. I can say um, timing. I hit enter. And now I have three arguments looped over. Hello world is one, dash T is another, and timing is a third. So it's read those command line arguments, which means that now I have the ability to access any of these from this args command line. Now you need to figure out how do you uh, parse those? How do you check which ones are there? You can you know do some kind of switch statement or, or loop over the arguments. Also note that you know maybe the dash T and timing go together. But the way you do that is you would check for dash T. And if you found it, then the next argument would be the one that you use as the value. So if this is args at position one and you find a dash T, well, then you say that position two is the value for the dash T. So that's how you can do multi, um, multi value parameters. It's all up to you now. It's in your hands for how you want to code it, but all the data is there. So that's command line arguments from console applications. But if we go to this WinForm application, we look at program.cs, the starting point of our application, we note that it doesn't take in any arcs. 
So how do we modify that? Because what I want to do is let's open up form one and we have the display name here. And I want to change this display name to be whatever we pass in on the command line. Cool. No problem. We can do that. Let's come over here and modify our static void main to take a string array called arcs. And right now it doesn't have one, but now if added that, we can do something with this string array arcs. Now, for the sake of simplicity here, I'm not going to you know, check to see if the arc has a zero position and all the rest. What I'm gonna do instead is I am going to just grab that value and say args dot first or default, which only works for the first value, but that's okay. That's all I want is one value. And I'll say default is the, you know, the other option. So if, if this is null, which default is null, then we're going to instead pass over default into our form one constructor, which you might say, well, Tim, the form one constructor doesn't have any arguments. Well, it will in just a second. I'm going to change the form one constructor to have a string and we'll call this uh, name. And I believe on the form we have this display name called display name. So what we're going to do is say display name dot text equals name. Okay. And let's set this as a startup project and run this application. Just see what it has, has when we don't pass in any arguments. So it should be the default, right? And sure enough, it says default here, even though the designer, let's close this out. The designer says display name. So cool, that's that's something. But now let's again go to our open folder in File Explorer. We come over here to bin debug net win eight windows. And then again, uh, we launch the terminal. And in here, let's shrink it down just a bit. We're going to say dot slash win forms args dot exe and i'll pass in hello world and this launches the application of course in the other window but it says hello world now because we passed it in through those command line arguments again now you have access to any arguments you pass in you can pass in multiple arguments you can have switches and flags and all the rest in your WinForm application this works with other application types too so this allows you to modify your application at startup, depending on what data you pass in. This is great for console applications that might, you might want to have flexibility in how they operate, or you might have different shortcuts that pass in different parameters. So you start your application a little differently. There's lots of things you can do here, including something simple like saying, Hey, I want to pass in a flag in the command line that says I want to run dark mode versus light mode or, or whatever it may be, it's up to you. But that's how you modify your application to take in those command line arguments, even in a WinForm application, but it's by default in a console application as well. All right. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.